Hello survey athletes. In this video, we will be discussing on the airspace map of India. We also will be discussing on the different zones like the green zone, yellow zone, airport red zone, geo zones and international boundaries present in the airspace map of India. And finally, we will be also discussing on how to get the remote pilot license. If you own a drone, there is a good chance you may not be aware of the areas in which you can fly. The DGCA's interactive airspace map can assist you in this regard. The Ministry of Civil Aviation launched an airspace map of India for drone operations on 24 September 2021 for the first time. The map is now available on the Directorate General of Civil Aviation's Digital Sky platform. The drone airspace map is an interactive map of India that demarcates the red, yellow and green zones across the country. From the figure, you can see the airport at the center and within 0 to 5 km lies the red zone, followed by the yellow zone which is divided into two, one within 5 to 8 and the other within 8 to 12 km. And finally, here we have the green zone. Anyone planning to operate a drone should mandatorily check the latest airspace map for any changes in zone boundaries. Now I will show you how to search for a location in the airspace map. Enter the location's name. And here on the right side, we have a box where you can select these layers. Now we can see that the location is under the red zone. Let us now discuss each zones. Green zones are the unrestricted zones where drones can be operated without any permission. The green zone is the airspace up to 120 meter or 400 feet that has not been identified as a red or yellow zone. There is no need for permission to operate drones weighing up to 500 kg in green zone. This is the green zone and no permission is required to fly the drones in this zone. Next, we will discuss on the yellow zone. Yellow zones are controlled zones and the drone can only be operated after a permission from DGC. The yellow zone is the airspace up to 60 meter or 200 feet in the vicinity of an operating airport that is between 8 and 12 kilometers away and above ground in the vicinity of an operational airport that is between 5 to 8 kilometers away. This is the yellow zone and it is between 8 to 12 kilometers away from the airport. Here you can fly the drone up to 60 meters. You need to take permission from the authorities in order to fly above this height. And here you can see that this is the yellow zone that is between 5 to 8 kilometers away from the airport. Here you cannot fly the drone. Drones can be operated only after permission from DGCA. Next, let us discuss the red zone. Red zones are highly restricted zones or the no drone zones and can be operated only after permission from DGCA. This is the red zone. Here, drones can be operated only after permission from DGC. Geo zones are temporary zones. They keep getting updated on the website. These are areas where there is construction or other such activities happening. This is the geo zone. They keep getting updated. It can also be the defense areas, prisons, power plants, etc. Do not fly the drone here. There are also international boundaries in addition to green, yellow and red zones. You are not allowed to fly the drone here. This is a highly restricted zone. You are not allowed to fly the drone here. Now, 
we have discussed about all the zones in the airspace map of India. Next, we can see what a remote pilot license is and how to get one. In India, drone pilot training is now mandatory to fly a commercial purpose drone of any size. To become a professional drone pilot in India, candidates must obtain a drone pilot license upon completing training from a DGCA approved institute. Flying a drone without the required certificate can result in severe fines and drone confiscation. To be eligible for the program, one must be at least 18 years old and under the age of 65. They should also have a minimum qualification of class 10. Candidates must also pass a medical examination and a background check conducted by the relevant government agency. It is not necessary to own a drone to enlist. The Digital Sky website contains a list of institutes and universities that offer DGCA approved drone pilot training courses. There are currently 48 DGCA approved remote pilot training organizations located throughout the country. This is the Digital Sky website. Here there are currently 48 RPTOs and you can look up the nearest remote pilot training organization from this list. With this, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys have understood about the zones and the restrictions and how to get a remote pilot license. Those who are watching the video for the first time, please like and subscribe. We will be adding more videos weekly. Click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any upcoming videos and thank you for watching the video.